Hi, I'm Dr. Sheldon with South Jordan Chiropractic. We're going to teach you your home exercises of the wrestler arches. So if you can see here, I'm on the floor. Just do this on the carpet because a tile or type of floor is going to be too uncomfortable, but on the carpet it should feel really nice. The problem with a lot of our patients that need exercise and training is instead of having a proper curve in their spine that helps with shock absorption when they're walking and running, they end up with a lost reverse curve, especially after a car accident. So we're going to do some home exercises because they're free for you to do to help you re-educate those muscles. So you lay on the floor, you can have your legs bent or straight. Bent is, I think, more comfortable. Your butt is touching, your mid-back is touching, and your head's touching. But what you want to do is create a bridge between your head and your butt so that you're creating an arch where your shoulder blades are not touching, which is why we call those wrestler arches. Because a wrestler, if both their shoulder blades are touching the, pet, the mat for three seconds, but if there's somebody on top of them, they're pinned and they lose, so they don't want to do that. So they'll have a, a buddy lay across their chest and they'll, they'll put some curve in their neck and practice arching to strengthen those muscles. Well, we don't need to do the side to side. What we need to do is just straight. You don't need a body laying over you, but you do need to put the right curve in your neck and raise the chest straight up and you hold it for one minute. And you do three one minute reps. Now there are three ways to do this. Two of them are wrong. So if you lay flat, you're not putting the curve in your neck. You might be able to come up some, but it feels awkward. Uh, so if you put a little curve in your neck, now you can come up much further. Again, there's plenty of room under, underneath where your shoulder blades, somebody can slide their hand under there, you know you're doing it right. The muscle should start to shake or feel a burn after the minute or two minutes or three minutes of doing this so that you know you're getting them fatigued to the point that they're gonna start getting stronger. However, if you put too much curve in, the other wrong way of doing it, you can arch up pretty good, but you're not working very hard because the way the joints are designed in your spine, you're gonna jam the joints together, creating a keystone bridge where the muscles don't have to engage very much. So flat, wrong. Too much curve, wrong. You gotta find that happy spot or sweet spot in the middle with just the right amount of curve that you feel like you're working it. And you hold it for one minute, three one minute reps. In between the reps, take a break, use your hands, do a counter stretch straight, just for a couple of seconds. If you hear some pops, that's okay, just in a natural stretch. You're not forcing it doing weird positions. And then just relax for a second. So a 20 second break between your three one minute reps. Hopefully that helps you.